am uniquely positioned as a photography channel on YouTube because I'm a ham radio operator even though I don't do it anymore. I have a great deal of expertise with what light is. I'm an expert on field theory. How many books have you written on field theory? Studied field theory and the nature of light more extensively than every YouTube photography channel combined. Why? That sounds a bit egotistical. Yeah, but is it true? And in fact, it is true. So, when all these years people have been debating me and others about micro contrast, which is a horrible word, it should be called image fidelity, and it's finally been established. It's not a unicorn or a leprechaun. By the way, back in photography school, there was this neat little thing, and this course is applicable to digital photography. Between a pure white, which I'm going to circle here, and a pure black, which I'm going to circle and fill in here, you know? Kind of like a line drawing, you know? You make a line drawing of Bob. Let me flip this sheet of paper over, and of course I'm going to draw a really crude uh, stick figure. It's going to be Bob, right? Head, nose, some freckles, some eyeballs, some hair. Yeah, okay. Bob's got two sets of arms. <laughs> That's a line drawing. That's contrast right there. Yeah, you see that? What would micro contrast be? By the way, this is why flash photography looks so good. It was like, wow, image pop. What do you think that a xenon tube, and doesn't matter if it's the most expensive studio strobe or a cheap ass Godox speed light, it's a xenon tube. Yeah. And of course it's reflecting off the subject that you're shooting. I mean, why, why does it look so good? That image pop. And of course, Zeiss refer, uh, refers to some of their lenses as Zeiss pop. People have been calling it image pop, Zeiss pop for years. Between, in the zone system we got here, between pure white and pure black, there's probably various gradations of different contrast. Yeah? Between pure white and pure black, don't we actually have something like, let's go down here to the pure white, we've got this, and it gets darker and darker and darker, right? And then, yeah, and right down here is just. And I'm gonna take my finger right here and just like smear things, right? Because you know that shading that you see. Yeah, right. You ever heard of this neat little thing called SNR, single to noise ratio? Yeah, see right there, SNR. Yeah. There's another thing, and this proves that image fidelity or micro contrast is real. It's E equals nu F. Energy equals Planck's constant times the frequency, right? When I posted up some image samples recently from this converted true monochrome D850, you, I mean, I have another D850, a normal unconverted one. This is a true monochrome D850. The silverness, and back in photography school we would talk about a print looking silver because someone had a shitty contrast or poor printing or poor exposure on the film. And we talk about awesome photos, even if they're compositionally ugly, it being silver, yeah? All that shading and gradation that makes an image pop, but just smacks you in the face, you go, wow! What the hell are all these knuckle-dragging mental midgets re and retards? And there was recently a large photography channel a couple of people pointed me to, which I don't watch with over a million subscribers. And someone on that channel said, I don't believe microcontrast exists. It just doesn't exist. What the hell are you talking about? If microcontrast doesn't exist, then the fucking zone system doesn't exist either. You know, here we got pure white, right? Over here we got pure black. You see all this stuff in between? Now you see this stuff that is like almost white, but you can see some shading right there. You see that neat stuff? That is low gain intertonal detail. Right, right. Right, low gain. Yeah. It's barely there. Yeah. Kind of like if you ever listen to like a high quality recording of like a symphony and you close your... I know you've done this, okay? If you've been alive for more than 15, you've, you've listened to it. Or like a rock band. Maybe you don't listen to classical and you could hear that person like coughing in uh, the audience like if they did a, a live recording. He's like... <coughs> It's like that person is over here on the left side of where the microphone is relative to the mic. You know, that stuff. You know? What the hell do you think that is? Everybody that's listened to audio know that shit's real. What the hell do you think it's not real and for that? Micro contrast doesn't exist. The only people talk about micro contrast is that tattooed ball prick on YouTube. 
And now he's just like pulling shit out of that. There have seen people, especially the mental midget morons on diaper review, say this stupid crap. Now, when I posted the image samples from this monochromatic Nikon D850, I mean, the images are not compositionally exciting, but there's nobody that's going to look at this, wow, you know, I've got a D850, and I can't make my images look like that. That's right, you can't, because there's a color filter array over it. By the way, this camera does not know it has had its color filter array underwear stripped off of it. Basically, every shot I did outside, even if it was in total shadows, I mean, it was covered over a tree canopy, I had to compensate, dial in about a, a stop and a third or a stop and two thirds compensation. Cameras are, well, doesn't the sensor read the, yeah, but camera still doesn't know that color filter ray has been removed. Yeah, the sensor on a DSLR. Yeah. How do you think it's uh, getting exposure? There's, there's a meter up here. This should tell you something, girlfriend. This should tell you something. There's a meter right up here in the pen prism. There's, there's uh, two things for register. There's three things for registering stuff within a, a DSLR, right? Let's actually go into mirror up mode. I don't know if it'll let me do it. Eh, I got the, uh, yeah. See, there's the sensor. Yeah. There's three things. There's the autofocus module down here, which the secondary mirror bounces uh, information to, i.e., light. There's the actual sensor. You know what the hell that does, yeah? There's a meter up here, right on the top of your DSLR. Doesn't matter if it's a Canon, doesn't matter if it's a Nikon. This camera has no idea that its CFA underwear, if you will, have been stripped off. That is why when I was outside shooting, taking those images that are up on my Flickr account posted everywhere, that's why I had to dial in, literally, every freaking time, I had to dial in a Minimum of a stop and a third of exposure compensation. Minimum stop and a third. Even when I went under heavy tree canopy, it was still light outside, right? So it's not like it was dark, dark. Still had to dial it in. Because the meter is told one thing. That was a set from the factory. But the meter and the information on the main board has no idea that the CFA filter, which is a filter, has been removed off of this camera. <sighs> Micro contrast argument, debate, controversy is dead. Yeah, it's dead. If you got a D850, I don't care what you do, and I'm not even talking about post processing because you can't do it there either. You can't make your images look like that. You can't do it. Almost all of those are straight out of camera, the ones that I posted, including the side by side between the Nikon. The regular D850 that I have, and this one, which I have to send back. This is a true monochrome D850 conversion. You see, yeah, we all know that there's something between pure white and pure black, right? Look up the zone system. And as so far as that, how could you be the largest YouTube photography channel, so to say, and say, I have that guy that got top of micro contrast. Does it exist? I just don't believe. I can't believe. Two people... Or is it three people pointing me to that? It's like, do you know so-and-so said on their channel that they're making fun of you? It's, I don't care who makes fun of me. The point is, are they right? And of course they're not right. That would assume that there's not this low gain. You see right down here? Just slightly above pure white. You know, this light shading right here. Yeah. Whether that be the color filter array. Whether that be a lens with a bazillion elements in it. Because glass is not merely an insulator, it's a capacitor, because light is an electrical circuit. Microcontrast, or what should be called image fidelity, is real. It's undeniable. There's even some math for it. Energy equals nu f. Length's constant times the frequency. There's the... Yeah. This is why flash images pop! This is why, uh, and I, the last images I took with this camera, I was using that uh, Voigtlander 58mm and ultra-high image fidelity, i.e. micro-contrast lens, along with the fact that this is a true monochrome. I mean, wow. The images are not compositionally fascinating, but they pop. They're silvery. They're, they have tonality within them that does not exist out of any other D850. And I got a D850. Yes, girlfriend. This stuff exists because the zone system is real. This math is real. SNR is real. Yeah? Yeah?
kind of like if you put on hearing muffs, you won't hear as much. You know, kind of like when you go on an airplane, you put on noise-canceling headphones or just some headphones. Or stick some cotton in your ears. That's what they used to do back in the day. Noisy brats on the airplane. Stick some earplugs in your ears. You know, you still hear, but not as good. It's all everything muffled. Blah, blah, blah. Right? What do you think that glass is? What do you think that color filter array is? Now, if you had a filter permanently glued over every one of your lenses, yeah, you like, there's going to be less light hitting the sensor. Yeah, what the hell do you think is over top of that sensor? That was the color filter array. The middle part of color filter array, color filter array, is I think the word filter. <laughs> That's why when I, using this camera outside, I got to dial in a minimum of a stop and a third negative composite because everything can be blown. Boom! Because the meter up here would think, you know, I've got the correct exposure. But it wouldn't know that, because it doesn't know, that the color filter ray has been removed. Yeah, yeah, common sense, logic. Am I driving the point home? <sighs> Hello, McFly. Yes, micro contrast is real. Yes, I'm right. And you're damn right, I know more about light, the nature of light, and I'm certainly the only expert in field theory that has a YouTube channel on photography in the world. The only one. It's got to be another one. No, there's not. There's not. It's undeniable. Mic drop.